Hey guys, I'm Fat Buddy Cat, and this is my custom doodle bug. Well guys, it's a beautiful Sunday morning, and it's come to my realization that I need to get some things done before winter. This is one of them. It's really not that big a mess. I'll show you. There's nothing wrong with this stage two Hemi. It's just a little much for everyday use and for this small frame in general. This black beauty is a 100% all stock Tillotson 212R. This is the original motor I wanted on this bike. I had made a plug and play harness for a remote kill switch and I'll be able to unplug that from the Predator and swap it over to the Tillotson. I'll pop that rubber cover and install a kill switch there as well. I just took the kill switch off the Predator Moved it over to the Tillotson, and everything else just plugs in. One 8mm bolt for the ground up here. This switch can now go onto the Predator. The only other part that we need is this oil drain extension. I'll take it off the Predator and put it over here on the 212R. Next, I'm going to remove the air box and air filter so that we can put a throttle cable on. Since I'm working with the stock linkage and a nice fresh end on my cable, I just lightly filed it down a little bit and then took off the keep for the throttle and that little 10 millimeter nut so that I could move this around and it makes it easier to stick the cable through the clevis or a cable stop whatever you want to call it now I haven't gone and tightened anything down yet but that is how you get that nice factory look at this point we're going to leave the air box off and mount the motor onto the frame. It's just going to set right on these studs here and then there's some nuts to hold it down. This is where that drain extension lines up. Makes for easy maintenance. Uh oh! How are we going to put gas in this now? That's not very convenient. Well. Good thing I remembered to switch over to that OMB Warehouse side fill gas tank just in the nick of time. At least we get a glimpse of that sweet stock aluminum flywheel. Ooh la la. Yeah buddy. That's nice and easy to get to. With the motor back on the studs on the frame, we can hook up our wire for the kill switch. I'm having issues with the plug that attaches to this switch. It was just like a $10 switch off of Amazon. I'm going to be upgrading to something else. But for the time being, I just wrap it with some HVAC tape and kind of make like a little cradle thing where I'm wrapped around the actual plug and then a couple cables holding it up to the frame. Thing's not going anywhere. Now I'm going to root my throttle cable and set it back in the housing. Now I just finish tightening up my throttle linkage. Then I just reinstalled the stock air filter and cover. I'm going to be using 
this universal adapter for another project. So, where I'm leaving it 54 tooth, I just swapped over to a solid steel job. All black too. Mm-mm-mm. Before we tighten the motor down, I'm going to put the torque converter plate on, figure out where my sprocket's going to sit on my jack shaft, and align my chain. Chances are, the motor's going to have to go left or right, because there's like a quarter to a half inch difference with this sprocket versus the 420 on the universal adapter all right now the chain is on the motor is completely tightened down everything's straight the pulley's on just like butter the custom mount on this frame paired with this torque converter plate allow us to run an extremely short chain. We can leave it a little bit loose and it's not going to go anywhere. This mini bike also has the option of using its own exhaust system. It's one piece in design with an adjustable hanger. It can go up, down, forwards and back. There's the hardware to mount it. There's the exhaust installed. And I even included these rubber inserts to help reduce vibration. I think the last part we're going to need is a 30 series driver. I'm just going to run a stock job. All right. We have a stock 30 series, red spring, 10 tooth, 54 out back. That gold chain, man, that looks awesome on that black sprocket. Nothing special over here. Everything looks nice and stock it's nice and close to the frame or as close as it needs to be um, I already took it outside and gave it a you know a tightness check make sure nothing's gonna fall off I just went up and down the driveway but uh let's get this thing outside and See how it goes. It's kind of wet out. but I think we got enough time for a quick test run.
it's an issue. Through the gulch. Beaver Creek. smooth well guys it got dark quick and that wasn't much of a ride but it's enough to work the kinks out and bring to the surface any issues that I might have further down the trail after that ride My chain is ever so slightly looser. Remember, I have this set up so that we can run it kind of slack. This thing isn't coming off the sprocket anytime soon. You see what I'm saying? Like if you pull it to full tension, it can't come off the back here or down here but I'd like to see it just a little more snug so I'll loosen the four bolts on the bottom and just inch the motor forward as is we have perfect alignment for our uh, extension for our oil drain and we have perfect alignment on our chain the reason I'm doing this well I want something that is a dependable everyday mini bike um currently all my other bikes have modified motors and it's nice to have something in the stable that is a little more user friendly at all times the reason that i'm building this mini bike this way is because i want something that is very reliable easy to maintain, has parts, readily available, but still outperforms anything that you can buy stock. This custom doodle bug is a high quality, off-road capable, mid-sized mini bike that's ready for all kinds of action. It's going to be a busy week, but you know we're going to make time to test this thing out for realsies, because as always, it's a work in progress. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.